Hey everyone. Not Humpty Dumpty. <laughs> he said Humpty Dumpty is gone. Cheers to that, guys. Clink, clink. I understand. <sighs> Katie Hopkins, Chris Morgan, Trump. They're all gone, guys. Chris Morgan stopped his own bag. Do you understand? We didn't stop his bag for him. You stopped your own bag with your washed out, crusty mayonnaise mouth. You stopped your own bag. Do you understand? You stopped your own bag, not me. I didn't stop your bag. Richard did not stop your bag. Claire did not stop your bag. You, Piers Morgan, stopped your bag. You stopped your dirty, stinking bag because you're out here running your mouth. And if you run your mouth about Meghan Markle, it's going to cost you and it's going to be expensive. Do you understand? Longer than a damn CVS receipt. Do you understand? Let's celebrate. Rejoice to that. You are gone like the wind. As Kenny Moore says, you can twirl. He twirled on out. He twirled on out of the studio. He got up. And he walked away. Why did he walk away, guys? Why did why did why did Pierce Morgan walk away? Pierce Morgan decided to walk away because he was no longer safe in that environment. He didn't feel safe in that environment, so he picked himself up and he walked away. Just like Meghan Markle. Just like Meghan Markle. Just like Meghan Markle, she got up and she walked away because it wasn't safe for her. Or do, do, or do those rules only apply to Pierce Morgan? He's only allowed to get up and walk away, but she's not. Funny how that worked out, guys. Funny how that worked out. Because, guys, when you do clownery, when you do clownery, the clownery, Will come back to bite it will just be biting you three course meal and some extra dessert it'll be biting you rejoice but i'll start uploading on your react channel guys i'm just uploading so much i'm tired at this point and i'm very busy <sighs> but i will try i hate chicken wings that name is making me hungry not chicken wings Pierce reminds me of a turkey rejoice it's time for us to rejoice to be happy at the fact that Pierce morgan has gone finished he has stopped his own bag. He was earning a good coin on GMB, and now he stopped. And now you will see Susanna, Susanna Reed. Susanna Reed is now going to have to pick up and find a personality because she's been sitting there doing nothing for how long? But now she's going to be on her own. I do wonder, guys, who's going to replace Piers Morgan? I'm very confused, and I would like to know who's going to replace Piers Morgan. Pierce was born old looking, guys. I done told you this yesterday. He was born old looking. And there's a video going around. I'm going to speak about it tomorrow on my channel. A viral video going around of him apparently having a crush on Meghan Markle. And then he ghosted Meghan. And since that day, he's wanted to put this narrative on her because he's in his feelings. And this is what a lot of men do. This is, guys, this, this is what a lot of men do. When they get rejected by somebody that they've always had to be crush on. Bear in mind, I thought we had a she. I thought we had a wife, so I don't know, um, a crush on. 
and then he just got rejected and since that day he's been bitter since well you better bite into that lemon all day i don't care bitter he didn't ghost her she ghosted him right the show sunk people watch for pierce that's the only reason why viewers watch rejoicing here in jamaica he's gone pierce morgan is known on a worldwide level as just being a waste man and there's no like you can't come back from that you had a career as a credible journalist back in the day even though you're talking crap you were at scene credible you've now come onto gmb to become a trivia that's all you're known for you've downgraded yourself you downrated yourself bro that's what you've done to yourself they're all fools One eight hundred waste man. Listen, forget about Sharon Osbourne. I don't care about Sharon Osbourne. She's been dead since day. But who's really pissed me off? That has spoken up against um, Pierce Morgan. <sighs> this one girl. I'm so disappointed. I'm actually so disappointed. If you know who I'm talking about, this is one girl. And she's from Love Island. <sighs> the one girl from Love Island has decided to speak up in defense. Correct, not Lucy. Amy Hart, right. Why is Amy Hart talking? My my girl was doing up poster, poster girl defending you one day back in January. But now we have Amy Hart out here doing what? Defending Piers Morgan under Piers Morgan's son's comments, talking about, oh, you know, you're a great man. Hopefully, you have some quality time after he, he was out here talking about how he didn't care about Meghan Markle's mental health. But it's you that's in therapy to this day because of Curtis, and you want everybody to clap for you. But when it comes to Meghan Markle and her mental health, you simply don't care. What are you doing? M Miss Amy Hart, what are you doing? Because I'm trying to understand. Listen, and people are saying, oh, you know, I understand Curtis now. I understand what Curtis went through. Curtis is a waste man too. They're both waste men. They're both waste men. Put one waste man, put another waste man in a bottle. What do you get? Two waste men. That's just what they both are. So Curtis has been a waste man. But Amy Hart, I am extremely disappointed. And I did not expect that from you. This is where people come out in the woodwork. You know, you know how you get wood lice here and there. This is what we're seeing. She's wood lice. Mm. Who is texting me? Go away right now, man. This is wood lice right now. This is what we're seeing. I'm so disappointed. Amy, you're out here talking crap for what? For who and for where and for why? I don't understand. Anything for clout? Amy's out here talking for who? Why are you talking for? Hmm? Amy should be the last one. Everybody's saying, what did Amy say? Amy was under Piers Morgan's comments talking about how great he is and that he hopes he has some quality time, that he's treated me nicely, he's been a nice person, you know, basically just praising him at a time where he's being condemned for his vicious comments and bullying against Meghan Markle. And you have the time to be doing this. You have the time to be doing this. No different to Lucy. He was out here defending Pace Morgan and reading his books. And we damn well know she didn't read a word of his book. But she's out here reading her his books for woke people. And this is what Amy Hart had decided to jump on. Is it just that hard, Amy Hart? Hmm? I've been live for 10 minutes. It should say, on your, I don't know if you have a time limit, but it should say how long I've been live. Gary Lineker just praised them too. Gary Lineker posted me on, on his Instagram. <laughs> I don't know why Gary Lineker posted me. I must have made a tweet about Nando's and he posted me. 
If you're a Piers Morgan lover, Gary Lineker, do not involve me in your life, please. Stay away from me. Thank you. If that's where you are. Um, not her overbite. I'm dead. Gary Lineker posted me. He posted one of my tweets. I don't know. I was talking about Nando's and for some reason it went viral and now everybody talking, posted my tweet everywhere. So at least they credited me, but still. Um, I'm so disappointed in Amy Hart. I don't know what she's deciding to do. I'm really disappointed. I just didn't expect that. You're in the comments. Let me see, let me see if I can find the comment and, and let you know about it. I'm gonna try to find this comment for you guys because I don't know why Amy Hart is talking. Why are you why are you getting involved in this? I don't understand. Why are you talking? Who asked for you? Like as if anybody looking for Amy Hart's opinion. Fool. Let me try to find him. Tim Pierce, always and forever. She says, I always remember how lovely you, your dad and brothers were on the flight home from Antigua. Hope you all get some quality family time soon. Why are you in his DMs? Why why are you commenting before? Are you are you stupid? Why? Why are you commenting under somebody that says Pierce Morgan forever? And there you are commenting. Hey, my sub. What are you doing? Right, not Antigua. What are you doing? What are you doing? Just, I'm so disappointed. I'm so disappointed. Look at all these men. Piers Morgan put up a tweet saying, her Instagram post saying, thinking of my late Greek manager, John Ferreira tonight, he'd have told me to do the same thing. Look at all these celebrities coming forward. Alan Wright, Spencer Morgan, I don't know who the hell that is. George Lineker, I don't know who that is. Max Wyatt, who's that? Um, Sam... Too many people have blue ticks, and I don't know who you are. Then we also have Callum Best. Who's that? I don't know. We have Rachel Fenton from Love Island 2016. Um, we have Amy Hart with a long paragraph about Antigua. Nadia Essex. I don't know who that is. I don't know who these men are. Too many men have blue ticks. I don't know who you are. I'm so disappointed. I don't understand. It makes no sense to me. Guys, go watch my recent video, please, about the circle. Um, let me please go and watch that video. I would appreciate it. The video is called It's Finally Here, I'm Going Mad. It's a sponsored video by Channel 4. I would appreciate it if you guys go and watch that and support, support, support. Sharon Osborne also supports her to support. Sharon Osborne is a waste man. Sharon Osborne has been a waste man since she tried to do something to her hair that day. 
and it just never really worked back on the X Factor. And then she got fired and she's screaming. The current season circle is good. I don't understand this, guys. It doesn't make any sense. Why has, why are, why are these these celebrities coming forward to defend Piers Morgan? You're defending him on the same, literally within 24 hours of him cussing out Meghan Markle for her mental health. And these are the people that are screaming mental health themselves. Whether you like Meghan or not, it doesn't really matter. It's about what he said. The fact that he disrespected people, disrespected Meghan Markle, disrespected um, the fact that she was mentally unwell not feeling help and she seeked help and she tried to and you're out here doing that it's not about Meghan Markle put her to the side it's about what she said and it's about what he's standing for and you don't believe the fact that she wanted to do stuff to herself and self-harm herself and these celebrities supporting him is no different to Katie Hopkins who spewed it and has spewed the same crap and people are in Katie Hopkins comments supporting as well now I'm going mad and I have to do a video about this tomorrow because now I'm really deep now I'm deep in it these Love Islanders and these people are coming out. Hey, Eden. It's not his place. Correctly, it's nobody's place. It's nobody's place. All these all these Islanders or celebrities that are coming forward to support me, but Pierce Morgan for what he said, surely they have felt that way at some point. Surely their friends have. But you don't believe them? Surely you don't believe them then, because Piz Morgan doesn't believe Meghan Markle and you're supporting him after what he said. It doesn't make any sense. What's not clicking? So embarrassing and condescending, guys. Right, they're all supporting him. How do you feel about Anna Vakili's death? She's not, she, Anna's not dead and you're asking weird questions. Like you need to relax before you get re removed out the slide. I don't know why we have, there's always one wet man in this live man talking crap. Just shut up, just talking. Um, 40,000 complaints, right? 40,000 Ofcom complaints. 40,000 complaints. 40,000. Sean Osborne supporting him too. Sean Osborne is just an elite waste man. 41,000, you know. Hey, Denitra, um, 41,000 com complaints. We've never had that on any show in the UK in over 15 years. And that's what you brought to the table. 41,000 complaints. You need to be removed from the show, which is why he has been. I genuinely think that they probably told him to apologize. He refused. And then he went. 41,000. How do you feel about the fact that your breath stinks? So you can, you can smell you can smell my breath. I don't know who this guy is and the fact that you've come to the live with your dead jokes. Bye. Um, I can't believe we actually managed to get rid of Piers Morgan. I know, I'm shocked, you know. I'm really shocked. someone's in complaints about what about what he said on the show um Susanna Reed can finally speak <laughs> Susanna Reed can't speak to save her life she's so she's so annoying they did that on purpose if you caught that slick tea they brought Megan's dad on purpose the way they must have swiftly called him up to say listen we'll pay you bare money to come on here and chat shit and that's exactly what he did they called him they called him up on purpose, guys. How convenient that they got Meghan Markle's dad the next day. They knew what they were doing, but they want to preach mental health. They knew exactly what they're doing. This is the this is the slick stuff that I've been talking about when it comes to these stupid articles and broadcasters. This is what they like to do, guys. This is what they like to do. They like to come with the slick stuff. And they don't need to be doing that. 
Hey friends, so glad he's out. These last few days will go down in history. They will. Yes, God indeed. Thank you, Denitra, for the ten dollars. Thank you for the ten Canadian dollars. I appreciate it. Denitra comes through. I record you from my previous lives because you've sent um super chats before. So I was like, oh, I know this girl's name. Um, but thank you for the super chat, guys. Let's keep them coming. Who's next on the super chat list? Inject it, inject it. Whether it's one dollar ninety nine cents, five dollars, whatever it is you guys wish to give, inject it, guys. Because I'm working overtime right now five videos out and now i'm doing a live are you mad are you mad keep the super chats coming are you gonna watch gmb tomorrow first and foremost i have never watched gmb i never tune in to watch the show um but i'll find out what's going on for sure i will most definitely 450 of you in this live wait 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 Are you going to leave London? Nope. How am I staying sane during all of this? I don't even know, you know. I'm just trying to keep myself busy. That's all I'm trying to do. I'm dead, Rachel. Ain't nobody watch that show. You've got time to be watching that, please. The circle is back. We've got more important things to watch. Would you go on this morning? I don't think I will. It's a waste of time. I think I will go on there once just to drag Pierce Morgan by every dead hair follicle on his head. But now that he's gone, we don't need to be doing that. So handsome, thank you, handsome too. Pierce is trash. Susanna is a wet wipe, indeed. Lady Lisha is hilarious. I can't believe he walked out. He really just must have cracked. He must have cracked. He must have absolutely cracked. Not the firm, child. You said I think the firm took him out. <laughs> you lot are funny. Exactly. We won't be missing you, Pierce. Goodbye. Goodbye. Toodles. Get out, man. But I feel like Pierce will probably be on one of those shows like Nigel Farage. They will be on these weird kind of far right, you know, shows. And he's now become very unhinged in this last three days. Very unhinged. Very un un unhinged. What do you think of Alex Beers? Alex Beersford had to do what he had to do. Alex Beersford had to do what he had to do, and I'm here for it. I'm sorry, I'm so here for it, guys. I'm so here for it. He had to do what he had to do, guys. Alex Beerford had to do what he had to do. Hi, tag your cash app or PayPal. Okay, I'll tab mine since y'all asking for it. Right, can we get some likes? Can we get some super chats? Can we get some more comments, some more viewers? Let's get it. This is my third day going live, guys. This is my third day going live. I swear I knew his time was limited. Interesting. When when are you when are you watching? When are you streaming on Twitch? I've never used Twitch, guys. I've never used Twitch. You just had to put a face mark and relax after weeks of good content. Right. Right, I do for sure. 110 percent Why are we sitting in the dark Marad? I'm dead. <laughs> I'm just tired, guys. It is twelve and twelve at night. If it's not race, then why is there no title? Why are you live? Because I want to be. Um, is Suzanne soon gone? It is PR. I love you. I love you too. It's definitely PR. Do you think it's PR? Suzanne, I think she will go. I think they will replace him for someone controversial. Ghana, you know, hey, how are you? Tired as hell. So tired.
child, everybody's forgotten about Love Island in South Africa. We've all forgotten. I think the views will drop, but they have to do that. He went too far. Thank you, Mariam Diab, for the $10 super chat. Thank you, number one fan, my number one fan, $10, $10. Thank you so much. I love you for doing that. So sweet of you. Oi, 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 where do you live? I live in the woods. Imagine quitting your job with another family drama. That's what I'm saying. No, I'm not falling in love. Listen, Love Violence Africa have fallen off it completely. This whole madness of the royal family has taken over everything. I have no time for that. No time. Yes, I agree. I stand Alex as well. He came for him, but he was respectful. Alex did not even raise his voice. Keep doing the lives, Mario. Love you. Five. Thank you, Eden. Um, but hi from Canada. Boy, California. Um, Harry shouldn't have done that though. Can we get Mario rather than giving us news about the Royal Family at 12 a.m.? Right, after four videos. I'm tired. I'm getting more videos tomorrow. I watched Love Island Poland. Poland? I did not know the Love Island Poland. Probably more black people on Love Island Poland than South Africa. That interview was will be in the history books for sure. Most definitely. 110%. I thoroughly agree. One for the history. Alex was calm as hell, a man still stormed out. Alex did not raise his voice. This is what I'm trying to let you guys know. He was very calm, he was intellectual, and he came with that slick read. He was like, um, oh, you know, I know you liked her, but he rejected you. It was at that moment when he said that, when he said that she got raped, when he got rejected, that was the core of the issue. Let me just crack my back. That was the core of the issue. The core of the issue was when he said, you got rejected. That was, This is why he's been hitting on Megan. From the, if you want to get to the core and you tug at someone's core, they're going to go mad. And when he was hit with the truth in his face, he got up and he walked away. He stormed off because he had enough. He knew that was the truth. And he couldn't face the truth. <laughs> what the fuck are you on begging for money? Who's begging for money? It's a super chat. People will send them to content creators. That's why YouTube has a facility for people to send. Otherwise, they wouldn't have it. Is this GoFundMe? Or is this a facility for people who work hard? People really just chat for chat. Chat for chat. I said begging, you know. Um, These little, these the haters are upset because their the 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 dad Pierce Morgan has left. Your 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 dad is gone. Go with your dad. He's gone. Pierce is gone. Hey Tiffany. Hey Tiffany. Um, Morgan is consumed with hatred. It's hilarious to me. Support the man. You know, Susie comes with these five dollar super chats all the time. I want to know who Susie is. Susie DM me so I know who you are because I feel so bad. But thank you. Um, Right, how can Jordan and Charlotte get a tap on Archie? I just can't believe it. Meghan Markle really exposed them so quickly and effortlessly. Now we've got to watch out for her because I don't know if something might happen to her. Do you guys think something's going to happen to her? Because I could see that happening. I wouldn't be surprised. It's quite scary. Something might happen to her, you know, because she's spoken up a lot. She's exposed more, way more than Diana did. Thanks, Gwen. Um, she did what she had to do. Archie is new where to try save because he knows. 
God forbid, but something could happen to her. And I'm scared. I'm not been drinking his coke and it's finished, but still. I think everybody would be sus. But you never know, it could happen. And I'm quite worried for her. I'm your best friend, Kenny. We're, we're, we're best friends. Not in your head, in reality as well, please. Um, taking security from Harry, like, that's crazy. But Harry was, they cut him off. So luckily he had the money from Diana. He had the money from Diana because Diana knew. Do you understand? She knew. Diana knew. She knew what was going to go down. She knew. Not Peppa Pig, ma'am. <laughs> I'm dead. Diana knew. Mama knows best. She had that inclination. I wonder what you think of William. I'm so intrigued. This royal mess is a madness. I'm, I'm, I'm talking about them as if they are my family, fam. <laughs> it's mad. We've all gone mad. We've all gone actually. We've all actually gone mad. We've actually all gone mad. It is a struggle, though. If we think about it, pace has clapped. So you will face more rejection by being clapped. Even Wayne Lineker is out here as well. And then we have Prince, listen, we have Prince Charles. We have Prince Charles out here doing up, posting so many pictures with him and black people. What are you trying to do? What are you trying to do? Why, what, what, what are we doing? Why are you suddenly posting you and so many black people? What, what are you trying to prove here? This is a little bit too suspicious. This shows that you probably did do that whole comment. It was you, and the guilt was eating you alive. So you thought, let me post this because I'm dumb. You stupid antelope. Dumb pelican. What are you doing? What are you doing? Sick of these pelicans, man. They're so annoying. They're actually so annoying. So jarring. Right, the palace broke out as well. Thank you for the five dollars, Nurel. Keep the super chats coming, guys. Keep the blood fire super chats coming because the royal monarchy are going down. F Prince Charles, F them all. Do you understand? F these mandem, these waste men. F them all. Every single one of them. F them all. Someone said, "Can we talk about Megan's dad?" <laughs> Megan's dad, you know. She's facing it from Megan's her own family, and she's also facing it from the family that she married into. That's crazy, guys. Thoroughly corrupt. Thoroughly corrupt. Like, you are corrupt. It's mental.
top waist man Talk to me or talk more to the press. Who do you think you are, James Bond? Who do you think you are? But Tyrese, she does that on purpose. Why would you willingly be with somebody who does that? You don't want to take that job. You, you very quietly try to say something here and there. Talk to me or talk to the press. Okay, 007. Okay, Lara Croft. Okay, Dora the Explorer, what are you going to do? Talk to me or talk to the press about your own daughter. Huh? What are you trying to do? Let me just sit here and eat my cookies because... Let me just keep quiet. Because each time I talk about this, I go mad. Who is Patrick J. Adams? Man said that crunch. <laughs> Am I eating lovely? I'm so sorry, guys. Wow. My back is just annoying me still. Wait. <laughs> is my crunch that loud? Wait. ASMR. I'm chewing like one damn rabbit, fam. Chewing like one damn rabbit. And all you lot are just laughing. I said crispy. Like this is some advertisement. <laughs> Can't do it. Let me see. You lot are stupid. Go on, nap. <laughs> Susie, Megan's dad is weak and annoying. He definitely is. He definitely is. Susie's coming with the damn super chats, guys. Where's everybody else? Is it just Susie? See, now I can't eat because you lot are just moving like pagans. Someone said, I'm unsubscribing, and when are you moving? How can you ask me two questions that are so random? You, you're telling me you're unsubscribing, but then you're also asking me when I'm moving. <laughs> are you okay? Friends supporting friends, show your um, you were interviewed by Pierce and he interrupted you like he did Shola. Show your what, sir? Your RX and I don't understand. If you were interviewed by Pierce and he interrupted you like he did, Chola, if he interrupted me the way I would drag him, I, I, I'm, I'm not the one, please. I will drag you. I, I will really cause entertainment. Thank you, warm honey, for the five pound. The way Pierce left was so funny. I'll never get over that because I'm not playing. 
reaction. Why do I'm saying reaction? I don't understand. Oh, reaction, reaction. It shows your um reaction. Show your reaction if you were interviewed by peers. Oh, it's a question. Sorry, I'm so. <laughs> Show your reaction if you were interviewed by Pierce and he interrupted you like he did Sean. I'm not such my reaction. Am I part of the circus? I don't know what to do. I have to be in the moment. I can't force it. I can't force it. I have to show my reaction. I would know. No, really. If you if you were to, if I'm now talking to you and you're telling me, you know, I would read you like Phaedra Parks. There would be no other way out. And Susanna Reed will get it as a recoil damage because you're there. Listen, this cookie is amazing. Five dollars, thank you, Steph J. Not, not, not a good joke. I'm dead. You are doing GBH. You're funny. You are hilarious. Megan did lie about a lot of the stuff. So do you know Megan? Let me know. Because Yes, Bernadine. Um no no Bernadine, sorry, for the ten dollars. My Canadian sisters are in this live. I'm Canadian too. Sorry, I thought I heard something. Did you guys hear that? I heard something. Sorry, I just heard something. That was scary as hell. Susanna needs to be addressed. Susanna's a waste man. They're all waste men. Susanna is a waste man. She is a waste man. We didn't hear it, Murad. I heard something. Wallahi, this world is done. It's finished. Jeffrey, not Jeffrey, Jeffrey who? Shane, not Jeffrey and Shane, but Emerosa. I need Emerosa to come back and do something. We need Emerosa in the building. We need we need an Emerosa Pace Morgan showdown. So Emerosa can really drag him like she always has. Because what Pace Morgan is is just a sad little kid inside. And you can see it. He's just a sad little kid. Not not Caleb. <laughs> I'm dead. <laughs> you also said Caleb. Okay, look, guys, hot mess. Hot mess. This is a bad, bad build. Most of these gammon types, they. Morgan, Morgan out of the womb, mad. <laughs> you got come with your bars. Play that tune you played earlier today. <laughs> I've been playing that tune all the time. Because Piers act like he were to die tomorrow, then what Hamney would come to his funeral fam. No, but fam, Lizzie does not even know your name. You beg. She doesn't even know your name. They don't even rate you. They don't rate you. You're a beg. You're a hot beg. Hot beg.
He's a hot big fam. I thought you were British. I am British, but he's still big. Watching from Western Australia. Pierce is a good person. Okay. Not Pierce is spirit. You are so serious on Lime Rod. <laughs> I'm just tired. I don't actually watch The Crown. Are you in a new apartment, Murad? Not yet, guys. Or maybe I am, but not yet. In due time, in due course. Murad would say, dare you rap. I'm dead. We had Hurricane Shona, Storm Alex, and Tornado Trisha, and they were ready for him. Hey, Murad, how's your day? Busy as hell. So busy. <clears throat> Where is William's hairline? Over there. His hairline is over there. Call him so he can, he can come and collect it. Do you ever feel like you are bad making a living of gossip and tittle-tattle? Uh, I don't think anybody is making a living of gossip when we talk about the royal family. So everybody's tweeting about gossip. Is this not somebody exposing the monarchy for racism? And we're talking about it. How is that gossip? It's controversial. Who's a waste man picking on a pregnant woman? Yes, William's hairline is deceiving. Very dece deceiving. It's not even there to deceive. There's nothing there to deceive. It's gone. William, remember. Oh, yes, oh, yes. This is what I want to talk about. Someone reminded me. William, when he was allegedly cheating on Kate, but that never took it, that never went in the papers. But if Meghan was doing that, or Harry was doing that, it would be everywhere in the papers. Do you know what I mean? That in itself, I found it was very interesting. It wasn't gossip when they were attacking Megan, right? But now it's suddenly gossip that Megan is speaking up. Move, man. It's current events. Jarring. Not William's headline was left in the womb. You are killing me. You lot are hilarious. What's everyone saying? I don't think William's hairline is even viewable from a distance. You're going to have to take a 20... <laughs> Not a 20 hour plane ride. Ron, do you have any black friends for Charles? Seen a Craigslist post that he was looking. I'm dead. Not Craigslist. Doesn't the firm do the same when it comes to cheating? William's hairline got dragged. It's been dragged. <laughs> it's been dragged since he was young. He's been dragged. He did cheat. Kate was cold with him for a hot minute. William's headline is with me. <laughs> How can you say that? You are hilarious. All that money, but still hasn't fixed his hairline. Right, all that money and for what? All that money and for what? What? What has William done? What has William not done? This dirty, stinking rat. What has he not done? Who is worse, Boris the rat or Morgan the pig? <laughs> We're not Peppa Pig, chat. This chat is out of control. Right. Thanks, Kenny, for the $5. I would say... Boris the rat, because this is why we're still in this lockdown because of Boris. So I would say Boris, but Peppa Pig is right up there. What's your opinions of Kate? I don't like Kate. From times when she had a wedding and everybody thought her sister Pippa had a big bum when she didn't, when she didn't, it was really pancake day. That, that's all I want to say, guys. <laughs> I'm sorry, that's all I want to say. It was pancake day. That's all I'm saying. Not that we should be judging people's bodies, but I'm saying. <sighs> that's all I'm saying. Pippa or Pepper? <laughs> oh, 
Pepper Pig Fam and Pancake Day. This chat is a hot mess. We are living it up in this chat. I said Pepper Pig. Pepper Pig. That's how she goes. Pepper Pig. That, is, that used to be a banging show back in the day. Pepper Pig. No one's saying oink oink. <laughs> I think she went to the Queen Diana unfold. Harry also dressed up as a Nazi. Don't forget that he did indeed. He's Harry also has a racist past, but you can learn and change, and anybody can. Even Camilla Cabello, she can definitely learn. Anybody can change, for sure. Uh, what is your name? Okay. Hold the name of your boss correctly. You're not my boss. You're a manager. How does it spell my name right? I'm right here. Yeah. Well, the There you go. Shut oh. up. Turn around. Don't talk to me. I'm going to teach you about leadership, ass. I have absolutely no respect for you. My whole mission was to break him down. And I knew his weak spots. And I exploited them. The mother of your children hates you, Pierce. And your children hate you, Pierce. They're embarrassed by you. Get my kids out of it. You foul mouth little trap. Read my lips. You're a disgusting little trap. You know why you raised no money? It was about going below the belt. In fact, I kicked him in the Do you tell your children to be like you, Pierce? No, because you're a Oh, that was so refreshing. Every other sentence from her mentioned my children. Shanti. Shakana. Spell my name right. Uh, what is your name? Hold the name of your boss correctly. You're not my boss. You're a manager. Does it spell my name right? I'm right here. Why am I supposed to? There you go. Shut <laughs> up. Turn around. Don't talk to me. I'm gonna teach you about spell. leadership. Ask. I have absolutely no respect for you. My whole mission. Good times. Emma Rosa had him in a chokehold. A whole chokehold. Emma Rosa is a fool, but she knows what she's doing. Right, she's taking classes, and I've done a video on this, and it's coming out tomorrow, about Camilla Cabello. She's taking classes about racial healing. And yes, okay, the name is funny, but if she's trying to correct herself, then good for her. Hopefully it works. We shouldn't keep taking people down for some past actions if they're trying to correct themselves. Who are we? Am I God? No. So hopefully she continues. And it actually works. <laughs> Let's just say. Or maybe it's fake. I don't know. It just doesn't make any sense to be dragging people all the time. Like, she's trying to educate herself, so she's attempting. Piers the Posen. <laughs> we need to put Piers on the show there with the celebs eat bugs. I'm dead. I think he would be really good on that show. I think he definitely would. Pierce to pose him. I think Pierce has two kids. Is Pierce married or is he or is he divorced? I have no idea. <laughs> I have no idea.
He's married, his second wife. Right. I didn't think he was married. I wonder what his wife thinks. It's embarrassing to be married to that. Imagine going to bed to that. Jesus Christ. Oof, that's crazy. He's married, yeah, he's crying about Megan. Pepper Morgan. <laughs> I'm not Pepper Morgan, fam. You're not stupid. Pepper Morgan. Pierced with the three chains. Pepper Pig. The monarch is a joke. It's expired. Nobody cares for it anymore. It's so boring. Pepper Morgan's been married since 2010. Just a bitter old man. Peter's wife mad that piggy's home. <laughs> You're funny. Postman Pat, you know. Wow. Pepper Pig will be his next king. Philip is on the brink. Philip's been on the brink for the last, I don't know how long. Some pound crack. Megan Markle's into this. Bye. Greg, is it Gregory? Gregory, is that you? Gregory, please. Gregory, are you in this live? Gregory, please. Gregory, please. Is that you? Behave yourself. Please behave. I'm seeing Gregory in this chat. That's the last person we need right now. Gregory. Can I'm seeing Gregory wrote something bad about Meghan Markle. See, I need I need to do a review on the loose woman conversation. I thoroughly do. You are so hot, by the way. Really, I don't know why you like, you guys keep saying that. I think I look like a rat right now, but thank you. This is what uh, Mark Wright has said in, about Piers Morgan. A man with an opinion, right or wrong, he has one. I wouldn't dare say if I agree or disagree with his opinions over the years that I may be crucified. But ultimately, unlike others, Piers has one. Today has proven you can't. It will cost you. So let's all continue to be vanilla and agree with everything we should agree with and not what we want to. A great loss to GMB, love him or hate him. Along with Susanna, Susanna he made that show what it is. But that those two at the helm is, I'm not sure of its future. I said, failed footballer. I'm dead. Mark who? Mark Wright is from the Hollywood Essex. I don't think a lot of US people know who he is. Thank <laughs> you. 
So this girl lives around my area in the UK, in London, and she's gone viral um, because she's been missing. So I don't know if you know who she is, but this is the girl. She's gone missing for a week, most likely passed away. Um, she's gone missing, correct? And now, if you guys know about this, you guys don't know about it. She's obviously been missing for the last week. Um, she's probably been kidnapped or something. Thanks for the super chat. Now, it's just been revealed that a police officer has been arrested in connection with the disappearance of this girl. Her name is Sarah Ever um, Everard. A police officer has been arrested. What? He's been taken into custody uh, at a police station where he remains. The man is serving is, is a serving police officer. A woman has also been arrested at the same location on suspicion of assisting the an, an offender. She's been taken into custody at London Police Station. What? Wow. Wow, 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 wow. A police officer, you know? She's been missing for a while. I didn't know her, but she was um, very close to where I lived. You just never know what's gonna happen. So like I'm saying to you, that's evil, man. Evil, 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 evil. Evil madness. Evil. Immigration is the cause of all of this. Shut up, Charlie. Just shut up. Just talking crap with your clapped face. Um, <clears throat> evil. You definitely can't trust these police. For sure. 110% you can't. You can't trust the police, guys. 110%. Cannot trust the police at all. Shocking. Absolutely shocking. William, yeah, apparently Selena is retiring. I've got so much to go. I've got so many videos coming out tomorrow. So on that note, I'm going to be ending this live. It's been here for an hour. I need to sleep. I need to be up early as well. <sighs> I'm tired as hell. And I will catch you guys soon for another live. Um, but right now, I need to go sleep. Thank you. All right. Good night, guys.